Have you been asked to account for or journalize a dividend transaction such as this one and you're not quite sure how to do it? Well, you've come to the right place. If you don't know me, I'm Professor Capco and I'm here to make this transaction super easy for you in this video. So stick around to the end and uh, you'll fully understand how to journalize this transaction. But first I want to say, I believe something wonderful is going to happen to you very soon. So be on the lookout for it. And now back to the video. In this transaction, it says ABC company pays its shareholders cash dividends, which total $100,000 on January 1st of 2020X. First of all, dividends, that is not an expense. Dividends are a way of paying a portion of the profits of the company to its shareholders. As you know, shareholders own the company and there may be a few shareholders. There may be only even one shareholder or you can have thousands or millions of shareholders. And one of the reasons they purchase the shares of stock is to receive dividends and that is a portion of the profits. So a company will calculate how much its profits are at the end of a period and then oftentimes, not always, share a portion of those profits to each and every one of the shareholders. And I specify cash dividends because dividends can also come in the form of additional shares of stock. But in this transaction, we're just concerned with cash dividends. I really appreciate those of you who are giving this video a thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and it helps this channel grow so I can do more videos such as this to make your life easier. All right, so we need to figure out what this transaction is gonna look like. I like to always start with a T chart. It makes it a little easier to visualize what we're doing. And I'm gonna move this up a little bit so we can see both things at once. All right, I have these T charts with the debits and credits listed. And we know that cash is gonna be one of the accounts that we're working with. So I'll label one of these cash and the other one we're going to be working with is dividends. Now, dividends are a type of, well, first of all, let's talk about cash. Cash is an is a asset, and so therefore it increases with debits and decreases with credits. Dividends are a type of, it's really kind of a type of contra uh, owner's equity account. And that is because it reduces the retained earnings. As I mentioned, there's cash, you know, the company has profits. Those profits would be part of the retained earnings. And then dividends pay out of those retained earnings. Again, it's not an expense. It reduces retained earnings, which ultimately reduces your owner's equity. I've got more information about those different types of accounts, um, assets, liabilities and owner's equity. If you haven't seen that, I've got one video linked up here that you can take a look at, but we're going to have this um, is going to be we've over here for debits and credits. Now we are paying out $100,000. $100,000 cash is going from the bank account of the company to the individual bank accounts of the shareholders. So our cash is being reduced. The company's cash is being reduced by the full $100,000 because it's an asset account. We're reducing it with a credit. So I'm going to credit cash for $100,000. And because our debits and credits have to balance, we have to have a debit of an equal amount. We're going to debit dividends for $100,000. And again, this is ultimately reducing the amount of our owner's equity because it's reducing the retained earnings. So we've got an equal amount of debits and credits, so we can now enter it into a journal. We have the general journal, and we would write down the date, and this happened on January 1st of 
2020X. And if you would like some forms such as this, the um, T accounts and the general journal, so you can practice these or use them for your class, uh, I've got a link down in the description where you can get your own copies. And that way you will have them for this handy work. And since we are journalizing it, we always do our debits first. And we're going to debit dividends as you can see in our t account this is why i do the t accounts first we're going to debit our dividends and we're debiting it for the full one hundred thousand dollars and we're crediting cash for one hundred thousand dollars our debits and credits balance oftentimes if we had a description payment of cash dividends, and that way we know what occurred. Sometimes these have reference numbers as well, but I've just simplified it without that. But the reference number would help you track back any transactions. If you think some other folks might find this helpful, um, please share it. That's another way that helps us out and you can help out someone you know by sharing this video. Just click the share button down below. And also I have a membership you can join this channel, you don't have to, but if you join it, I've got uh, some special features that will help you, including one level that has special um, members only videos and we can do some live chats as well. So consider doing that. If you um, also wanna uh, subscribe to this channel, I recommend you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. That's all I have for you today. Thank you.